In 2017, 1.7 million people died of TB, women and children being majority of them. It was the 23rd of June 2015 when I was diagnosed with pulmonary tuberculosis. And just like that, my life changed. TB is a disease that is caused by a bacteria. It is something that can be contracted through the air. If someone coughs and you breathe it in, that is how you contract TB. TB is infectious but curable. However, one million children fall ill with TB globally each year. And of that million, 239,000 children die every year. TB in children is often misdiagnosed and overlooked because they present differently. In Sub-Saharan Africa, we actually have the highest proportion of children with TB and HIV. And this therefore presents quite a challenge in clinical diagnosis because children often present with um, non-specific clinical symptoms and imaging therefore can play a very important role in diagnosing TB because we have multiple imaging modalities to diagnose. We started looking at building up, you know, um, the databases to see, you know, what do, how do these kids present, what are some of, you know, the symptoms they exhibit and what is the definitive treatment we can do for all of them. And as you know, TB is very treatable yes. and if the child gets the necessary uh, attention at the right time, the child can be treated. The most common symptoms of TB include a persistent cough, night sweats and fever, weight loss and then also enlarged lymph nodes. However, I didn't show the general signs and my TB was more in my lymph nodes. Um, sorry. I was very strong, told myself, you know, I will finish this treatment, I'll continue my studies. Um, yeah, I always knew that being a medical student is probably one of the reasons why I really caught this illness because we're exposed to it every single day. The first, you know, two months were okay. I took this medication every day, I went to class, but the lymph nodes still continued to grow. It grew even bigger than a golf ball, so it was very difficult to move around, very difficult to go about my day, luckily it was winter, so I always wore a scarf. So yeah, I always get very emotional when I talk about it. Um, in my fifth month though, then I started to feel ill. So we did some tests and unfortunately the TB medication sort of messed up my liver and that wasn't working properly. Yeah, that's when I got really sick. It's like I wasn't myself. There was even a time when I was hallucinating. Um, and that was all because of the liver problem that was caused by the TB medication. And it wasn't only affecting me, but it was also affecting my parents. You could just see the, you know, the worry in their eyes. Sorry, wait, now I'm emotional again. Maybe I did feel disappointed in myself, just a little bit because I wasn't strong enough to like not be ill, not be waking up at night and you know bothering my parents. And it's not fun. it's not great being a burden to your parents. So I think to an extent I also don't want to give them more work than they've already been you know, been helping me with things, they're supporting me through varsity, they've always been there for me and now I'm sick and they need to look after me and my dad needs to drive me to doctor's appointments all the time. You know, I, I knew I was going to get through it because that's the type of person that I am. Um, I was never going to give up. But I think I never understood how traumatic it actually was for me because I always grew up a very strong woman, a very independent woman. And the fact that I didn't want to tell anyone, I felt like I could do this by myself. I went through this and I finished the course and today I am cured. But I think now that I am in South Africa, 
it's time to speak up about TB. And the fact that it's curable, but it's still killing millions of people every day, that is a problem. Today I am much happier and healthier and I feel much lighter speaking about my TB story. A big part of my story is that I felt stigmatized because I had TB. But TB does not discriminate. TB can affect anyone. I want to encourage everyone out there to be brave enough to speak up about TB and together we can stop the stigma and discrimination. You can get your free TB screening at your nearest clinic. It won't cost you a thing, but not going, it could cost you your life.